Now the heavy snow melt has triggered more water releases from Lake Oroville. CBS 13's Tori Apodaca went out there today and is getting answers on whether the rivers can handle more inflow. Many people were out and about walking right along this path, enjoying the view of the lake from on top of the dam. Now that the snow is melting, the water levels are rising and the DWR is starting to make more water releases. It makes you feel a lot better when you see it full than when you see it empty. Lake Oroville at 91% capacity on Thursday. The highest Kevin McCarthy has ever seen it since he moved nearby three years ago. It just looks so much better now. It's a great place to walk up here. And then over the last few years, it's just gone down and down and down till we've had nothing. Now the water is going up and up and up. And with the snow melting in the Sierra, the DWR is releasing water into the Feather River. This is what it looked like in March as 15,000 CFS came rushing down at the spillway. The first release in four years. This week, the DWR upped this outflow 18,000 CFS on Wednesday and 20,000 CFS Thursday. Feather flows into the Sacramento, the Sacramento flows into the, the bay, right? And then the San Joaquin comes from the south. So, will rivers downstream be able to handle this extra flow? Water experts like Greg Pasternak say yes. From a flood perspective, they're, they're essentially operating independently. The DWR says despite the increase, the Sac River will remain at its normal conditions, meaning no concern for flooding. So it can easily handle this amount of flow and probably quite a lot more. Lake Oroville is currently at around 878 feet. Full capacity is at 900 feet. The DWR expects it to be full this spring. I feel like a little kid at Christmas, I guess we want to say. It's just a beautiful day and, and all the rain that we've had. And the DWR will continue to make water releases here to make room for the snow melt. Since December 1st, Lake Oroville storage has increased more than 215 feet and gained over 2.1 million acre feet of water. Yeah, we know a lot of people are thankful to see those those lakes going up yeah, finally. No like to see it. Thank you, Tori.